I believe your ex has been stalking you, harassing you, threatening you, and making you afraid to go outside. What he's doing is criminal. But I'm sorry, the rules just don't allow me to help you admit your evidence. You have to do that on your own. So I'm going to have to rule against you. It's tragic whenever we hear judges say things like that in the courtroom. And I want to do something about it. My name is Preston Park with the Law Office of Preston Park, thinking past the emotional barriers in divorce and child custody cases. I've been practicing family law for six years. I'm a litigator and I coach and judge mock trial. In mock trial competitions, middle school and high school students learn how to try one specific case in front of judges, including opening and closing arguments, witness examinations, cross examinations, and objecting to and admitting evidence. The teams are judged on their advocacy skills, and you would be amazed at how well all of the teams from the very top to the very bottom perform each and every year. Just like in mock trial, you probably only want to learn how to try one specific case, yours. But you don't need to worry about scoring advocacy points, how, to, how impressive you sound, or, or your ability to speak without notes. You just want to know how to get the judge to hear the right evidence. So I've decided to open up some coaching hours to people who can't afford to put down $5,000, $10,000, or whatever it might cost for them to retain an attorney. I'm doing this through a great new app designed to connect people with experts. It's called WinHub Interface. Now this is not something for penny pinching. You get your best value by retaining your own attorney. Coaching is for people with open cases in Texas who cannot afford to hire an attorney to represent them. You don't have to be in Texas, but your, your case has to be in a Texas court. Now, I remember trying my first case. It felt like I was jumping into a pool of ice water, but that feeling passes. And I was fortunate to have experienced attorneys and experts to help me prepare my case, and I was able to achieve my client's main goal. I can't guarantee you'll be able to achieve your goal, but I can do or what I want to do is give you some coaching and teach you about evidence rules and how to present a case just like I do for mock trial and like others who have helped me along the way have done. You can find more information at planocustodyhelp.com forward slash law coach. Good luck. Stick around for a cool example of five things you need to say to admit text messages from your ex into evidence. Your Honor, I'm holding what has been marked as Exhibit 1. It is text messages from my phone. I took screenshots of them and printed them on this page that I brought with me to court today. The number at the top of the page is the number that the respondent uses to communicate with me and is listed as the respondent's phone number on the divorce decree. I have reason to believe that the respondent wrote these messages because she refers to me with the same colorful metaphors that I am accustomed to and she is talking about issues with our children. I offer Exhibit 1 into evidence. That means it's admitted.